Hello and welcome back. Faintly Saintly here, and we are back with a backpack of battles. Uh, after the final, well, I shouldn't say final release, the early access release of the game, um, we've got some new classes to play with. And uh, last time we looked at the Pyromancer, and uh, that was really interesting. Uh, I didn't mind the new elements that they brought into the game. Um, and this time we're going to try the Berserker. As you can see here, I've played a few games with the Berserker, and um, initially I thought, oh, that seems like a bit, bit of a boring class, but uh, I've actually had some pretty good results with her, so I thought I would give it another go. So her starting bag means that uh, a duffel bag here, when her health drops below 50%, she enters a battle rage for 5 seconds. Um, and obviously during that time, items in the bag trigger 30% faster and you take 20% damage. So it's a bit, so it's a bit of a rage that uh, when you take enough damage, kicks in once and um, buffs you and helps you sort of get through the fight. The forging hammer she starts with uh, deals an additional damage per empowerment stack. Um, and this also has the ability to upgrade certain items uh, through a synergy, which we'll look at a bit later um, as the items come up. So I might just roll. What do we want? I might get a banana. That's always good. Maybe another vegetable as well or another food. Roll once more. Hmm. Can I... Everything is included. That needs to be touching there, doesn't it? I'll do that. That'll do. Just for a start. Yeah, I think it's another Berserker here as well. Got a broom. And a customer card, but hopefully my food will buff me enough to... Get through and it does. Okay. Wooden sword. Does combine with a whetstone. Bit of low stamina usage as well, so I might let it go. How can I wrangle this? Not like that. Leave that one out. The whetstone there. For now. So you'll find things like uh, the gloves and the helmet and I think the boots that appear. If you put them next to the hammer, the hammer will actually upgrade them. Which is a pretty unique thing to this class, as far as I know. So this is a bit scary, but my buff kicks in and just saves my skin there. So you can see how just that little bit of damage reduction towards the end of the fight can be uh, quite powerful. Uh, what do we want? What is this fine with? One's with a sword. So does the stone. I think I'll aim for the stone. I have the boots, so you can see they combine with the hammer. I might hold on to those. Rung pan could be good. Might just leave it there for now, save that money. It's pretty standard. They've got a bit of a spike thing going on. They've got a hero sword, which I think is what we're going to end up with. Not too much trouble there. But the boots there. So the boots, uh, when your health drops below 70%, gain a luck, gain an empowerment, gain 8 shield. Um, but when they're upgraded, they might be a bit better. So they'll upgrade to dragon skin boots. Let's see what happens there. Might reserve that as well. Uh, what else we've got? Make a spike shield. Might be a bad idea, actually. We got six. Uh, I'm having a shield, but I'm not exactly sure what that will do. I'll reserve that as well. All right, what is this? Ah, oh, it's the, um, the reskin of the poison build. I can't remember what it was called. But they were two spike shields. Okay, but we get it done. I was just reading what the spike shield actually does. So I think it is something we can probably use. And the dragon skin boots are here. So, 25% chance to resist 
cold, battle rage in entered, clean, cleanse three, random debuffs, gain one empowerment and eight shield. So they do work pretty well for this build type. So I'll do that. Better off with a dagger than the wooden sword. Maybe. Let's see. Like this, this gives me more stamina as well. What about another banana? Oh. There's the other stone we need. No, oh, that's the wrong kind of stone. What do I need? A whetstone. My mistake. Okay, the gloves are also something we can upgrade. I'm going to hold on to those. This is a full backpack. Oh, they're going to have a dragon, which is a bit scary. Not looking great so far, but here's the buff. How does that help us? Oh, not quite. Like shield. On attacked, 35% chance to prevent 4 damage. Remove 0.37 from the opponent and gain 1 spike. Up to 3. That's just a nice little thing to have. Put that down. I'm going to put the gloves here as well. Uh, that's not a bad thing to have. Is that whetstone. So, I'm out of gold. Next turn. That should be good to go. Let's see what this sword does for us when it's upgraded. Another poison build. I've got a shovel. Makes me blind. Increasing my accuracy. They're going to have a poison goobit very soon. And they demolish me. Even with my rage buff. Okay. 10% chance to resist poison. Green battle range. Rage. Start items trigger 40% faster. That can be very good for us. Hammer could be good as well, it's quite powerful. Can I adjust this? An upgrade, that's also sitting in there, which will trigger faster. You do two to five, so I think it's more important to get you firing quicker. Uh, a bit of armor wouldn't hurt actually as well, that'd be quite good. Can upgrade that as well, so next turn that's definitely happening. Do I need a coin? It's worth selling something just to get that early. Uh, now we'll, we'll risk it. Sanama. Interesting. We might be in trouble with this one. This is uh, quite an advanced build. We are still relatively low tier. Yeah, no surprises there. Okay, hero sword. It buffs the other weapon around it, which is good. Okay, item crafted. Generates flame. Wolf companions are offered in the shop. Runes are offered in the shop. Damage taken reduced by 10%. Battle rage lasts half a second longer for each nature item. Or on hit, 30% chance to stun for half a second. This and start items gain 5% accuracy and 5% critical hit chance. So the stun could be good. It will buff other things. But I wonder whether wolf companions are useful to have a like leader. And weapons will gain a chance for extra pets as well. Let's try this one. There's that sword she's holding over here. Rip saw blade. Quite strong. That puts this sword to shame, doesn't it? That's also worth 10 gold. Here's a power puppy. Every four seconds gain a random buff of luck, regeneration, or empowerment. And what is that? I can upgrade that to an armored power puppy. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, hey. Plus 10%. 
for each pet. So that is now buffing these weapons. This pet is in his range, that's good. Um, keep buffing that one, I think. Make that faster, that's fine. I still got the armor. Actually, I'll swap these. I'd like that to upgrade the armor as well. Ah, I have to choose. I can't upgrade both at once. I think the armor is more important at this stage. Uh, I don't really need another pair of gloves. I'll leave it at that for now. Okay, another berserker. What is this? A double axe. Huge. Costs a lot of stamina. Jeez. And they've got the uh, brass knuckles as well, so they're pretty scary. Okay, dragon scale armor. Gain 40 armor in battle rage. And I reduce damage taken by 15%. That's pretty good. All these buff my rage, basically, don't they? Yeah. Now I can upgrade the power puppy. I'll grab that just to have. She, the cap of resilience isn't upgradable. Might I thought that would be part of this set, but apparently not. Blood amulet. Yeah. Spiked collar. Battle rage lasts two seconds longer. And I gain a spike. That seems quite good. Longer battle rage is not a uh, thing. I'm upset about. Oops, just to resize the window. Uh, here we go, Courage Puppy. That's an actual weapon. 100% I'll take that. Save that last dollar. What have we got here? Mega Clover. That's a luck build. Poison Dagger, Bloody Dagger, Regular Dagger. Two Lucky Piggies. This is nuts. My rage wasn't enough to get me over the line there. Another puppy. Wisdom puppy. Every four seconds gain eight shield and cleanse one cold. The armored puppy. Triggers faster for every adjacent pet as well. So if I put this here, okay. you're buffing those two for these two pets. These two are buffing each other. I'll definitely reserve that. But I want to be able to upgrade that, so I'm going to swap these two around. Worth just having a coal. Sound of battle gain eight armor in shield or armor. Or I can do extra damage in a weapon. Pop in the shield for now just for the sake of it. Well that's a scary looking build. Two death scythes. So they'll be doing lots of poison. Hopefully I can wear them out before then. Yes. Okay, Armoured Courage Puppy, 7 to 9 damage. 4 second cooldown, deals 2 damage for each adjacent pet. That's 1. Cannot be blocked or trigger spikes, that's really good. Alright, I'm going to move this shield over here. I'm going to add a Wisdom Puppy. I want to make that adjacent to two puppies. What I'm going to do... Not this way, can I? Need more backpack. Will that help?
How's that? They're all touching each other. This is getting... Oh, it's not getting all three now. That is, but it's not going to buff my weapon. All these fruits and veggies. What's that? Holy armor. On sale. Okay. Alright, let's just clear this out for the moment. Definitely want the sword and the hammer to be there. I want that hammer to touch this. I want him there and there, at least. I line this up. I think I'd rather these touching than focus on this. We're going to buff those to some extent. Anything missing now is that, but if I spin that around, that'll work. Uh, I'll roll once more. Another puppy, another backpack. Um, or should I? Without wasting too much time. going to trigger 20% faster just because he's in the two of those backpacks. All right, let's run with that. we got one health left, so hopefully that's enough to get me through. Whoa, what is happening here? Everything's frozen. Ice armor, frost bolt. Uh, this is what I missed out on when I was playing as the Pyromancer class. I did unlock the ice items, but I never really saw any on the basic stuff. That's cool. Got a lot of uh, cold there. Hopefully I can just wear them out quickly. There we go. Another wolf upgraded. Armored Wisdom Puppy. Every four seconds gain 12 armor. Cleanse one cold. Increase shield gain by one. Nice. I wonder if it is time to... Move on from focusing on the vegetables or the food a little bit. About just a start. Go with. Oh, actually. Let's go with that. Right, a little bit of a cut there, just had to come out of the door, so just had to pause, but I haven't missed any battle. I'm going to try and get my head around where we were at. Oh, that's the end anyway. <laughs> there you go. A couple of points. All right, I'll try that one again, I think. I do like this character, and I think... Uh, I not quite play to the strength that time. What does a broom do for us? When it misses... I mean, I could do a spike shield to start with, really. Why not? Pretty unique situation to start with that. Gain mana, gain regeneration. Why not? I haven't really played much with regeneration, so we'll... See how that goes for us. Oh, 
Not a boring battle, but got there in the end. So, Spark Shield early on is pretty good. I don't think I'll go for a Wooden Sword again. That didn't really uh, inspire me too much. The Dagger might be more beneficial. Or even Armour to start with. Do that. They have regeneration. Learning? Yeah. Upgraded. I just realized the unupgraded version of this did uh, 45 armor at the start of the match. Upgraded does 40 only at battle rage. But it's slow to kick in, kicks in less. I suppose the only benefit is that it uh, reduces the damage taken. But still, it doesn't seem like the uh, immediate upgrade I. I'd assumed it was, but anyway, there's some more attack power happening. Health drops below 50%, consume, kill Levin and cleans poison. Maybe that's not a bad idea, because that will trigger at the same time as the rage, right? Try that. This up. Nice. Okay, shield. Items give 30% extra block. It's good. <laughs> I actually don't know. Um this health potion seems to energize with the healing herb so we'll put those together grab that I want the shield of Vela could make me super tanky another dagger as well Off for a Gubert build. Hang in there, no dramas. Okay, strong health potion. Beautiful. I like those simple upgrades, no downsides, no messing around. How can I... I don't need you there, so I'm going to put you there. Do that. Do that. as well. I like this. Or oh, close. Like, um, yeah, nice and tanky. And I can attack quickly with these that don't cost stamina. Although, stamina. Stamina cost is three, which is Pretty high. Currently using zero a second. A lot of damage though, isn't it? We'll upgrade the boots. And I'll give up on the shield. Is another suit of armor good? Then I'll be tanky. Let's see. Another berserker. We got for what's that? Spike gloves. I know that was a thing. Won that fairly comfortably, which is good. 
Okay, stamina backpack is good. Okay, that's nice to have there. What does this do? Every three seconds, adjacent items trigger five percent faster up to forty percent. We can just sit there and buff. Whoop. Just buff all my weapons. Made a mess of that, didn't I? Um pretty cool, I might hold on to him. This can be upgraded as well. Horn whip. Let's see. Let's see. I will save you. Uh we'll I'll just save that dollar, I think. So the whip does good damage. Doesn't cost a huge amount of stamina. Increases thorns as well. Come on. Oh. There's a bit of ebb and flow in that one. So, does plus one damage for each buff you have removed from your opponent. One hit removes two random buffs from your opponent. During Battle Rage, additionally heal for eight. That's uh, a juicy, isn't it? I'll take the Brass Knuckles this time. More damage, no stamina cost. Delicious. Another healing potion too. Sorry, little birdie, I don't think we'll have room for you. What I am going to try and do. Somehow. Yeah, so you're in there as well. You'll be 30% faster in the battle rage. Would be nice to get this in somehow. I don't think that's going to be quite possible. Definitely want that. I'm going to wrangle this. Definitely just need to more backpack space. That's tempting. Battle Rage lasts longer. A cheap dragon egg is tempting. Uh, can't say no to that. I just need more backpack space. Desperately. Kind of un unreserved for that. Hmm. Now they've got the Phoenix. They lose health as they fight, but they reincarnate. But it didn't matter. One way to do that. to have that. Not with my dragon egg though, does it? Cheese? When you have at least 45 shield, consume this, convert 15 health to 30 shield. Interesting. First potion inside consumed, great. Gain a random buff. It is good to chain potions, isn't it, really? Give me some backpack. There we go. Not being consumed also applies the effect of the above potion without consuming it. 
what if these are consumed at the same time? We'll see. It's reserved. Yeah, let's go. I think this is a dragon to get there as soon as I can, just so it has time to hatch. Blinked and missed that one. Crown doesn't excite me. I could upgrade that potion as well. Or I could get another pair of dragon gloves. Get the dragon gloves on this, that would be pretty good. This is so strong. Um, I'll focus on that. Doesn't hurt to have just as an extra little bit of armor. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, whoops. Interrupted. Okay, lots of fiery stuff happening over here. A chili goobit. Nice. Okay, two strong health potions. Beautiful. Another dagger. Come on. We roll. Battle rage lasts two seconds longer. Not gonna say no. I think I'm just gonna try and get creative with this as well. Oops. Where'd it go? There. Both of these now trigger 10% faster. Which is nice. I still better get this in somewhere. I'm gonna leave it as it is for the moment, so just make sure that's in the duffel bag, yes. Getting all the weapons. That's triggering that. Ah, I was gonna see if this could trigger that, there we go. Oh, I wish I could get both. That's fine. So, in Battle Rage, this is just gonna go nuts. What is that? Busted blade. What will the armor she's got? <laughs> it won't help her. Take that. Hey, the ruby whelp has hatched. But no stamina cost, it does 5 to 10 damage. The 2.2 second cooldown. Start a battle against 2 heat. Which helps everything trigger faster. So we're happy. Every three seconds, star items trigger five percent faster, up to forty percent. Doesn't quite reach the knives, but now it does, but doesn't reach the hammer. 
benefits from that. Oh, that hammer upgrades this. That's ridiculous, though. Do I bother? Chain one empower. Plus that. Plus everything, really, doesn't it? I'll go the boots, I think. There's room for them. This could even reach the dragon, potentially. There we go. Yeah, let's give that a try. Every three seconds, everything gets 5% faster. Jesus. Smash them. That's crazy. I could take the win, but... I've got to survive six more rounds. I could get an extra 33. I'm going to go this way. Why not? Axe. Blood Amulet. Start of battle gain, two vampirism. And 20 maximum health. It also seems to be synergizing with my health potion, right? Let's give it a... Oh, all my dagger. Hmm. Do I want to upgrade a dagger or do I want to upgrade a potion? I want to go the potion. Just to see what happens. And I guess I'll upgrade the boots as well. If they reserve that. <laughs> Could get another whip going. Just to really <laughs> be a pain, but no, I'll leave it at that for now. That is a busy backpack. I'm not even going to try and work out what's going on there. I'm just going to trust the system. Alright, what is this? Both characters drop below 80% health. Consume this and gain one vampirism to steal eight life. Oh. Not sure I'm really liking that, but anyway. I'll swap that with you. No, don't get the potion. Oh, you got the dagger. Good. Get the dagger. Um, do that. Grab another one of these for sure. Pop that somewhere. Okay, just a little rework here. Place that with those. You were there. You were there. So now you've got 20% from the faster backpacks, which is nice. Heal 50% damage when the opponent is below 30% health. the dragon as well. Um, we'll reserve that. I'm going to put the coal in the dragon. Okay. Air Berserker as well. I haven't even been triggered yet. There I go. Lovely. Okay, a bloody dagger. On hit, gain one vampirism up to five per battle. Heal four per attached vampiric item. If I get two bloody daggers next to each other, I'll be pretty happy. one of those. Give at least 20 debuffs, consumers and clean 10. Yeah, it doesn't excite me. Another 
Blood Amulet, I will take, absolutely. And I will take that as well. A Battle Rage, which is meant to be... Five seconds. Uh, now does two, four, six, eight additional seconds. Which is crazy. In that time, everything in this bag does 40% faster. Everything... That goes off. Gives me shields. That makes them 40% faster. Just ridiculous. This person has a lot of dragons. I wasn't even paying attention. Didn't even matter. A little bit overpowered, I feel. But I'm going to swap these over. And I'm going to put that there. Two bloody daggers next to each other. Which should trigger that on hit. Heal four. They'll be going off. Plus getting faster from this as well. Ooh. Another dragon egg, do I? Maybe. Forget that. The potion there. Out of stamina. I don't think that's an issue. Remove five seconds, we only gain one empowerment or gain three mana and remove two mana from an opponent or remove one stamina from an opponent. Could be good, I guess. Just because the empowerment will buff the hell out of these. Especially that one. Mm. No, I should save that space and money. Let's go. That's a lot of poison. Holy hell. Come on. Got him. 65 poison in the end. I'll just survive two more rounds. I don't think this dragon's going to do it for me because he won't hatch in time. Now that there's two vampir vampirism items next to each other, they'll both heal for a hit. Which will keep me nice and healthy, I would hope. So let's chuck in some the armor. Every three seconds cleanses poison. Gains 55 armor straight up and two regeneration for any holy item, which I don't think I have holy. Um that's fine. Be doing it purely for the armor. I'll wait and see. Another blood amulet. If I can get the blood amulet next to this dagger without affecting that potion, which actually I think if I swap those, that's probably a smart way to do it anyway. Then that counts towards. The uh, not both, unfortunately, but Cancel was that one doing healing on hit. Which is great. I'm going to afford that armor now. I'm going to use that. There we go. That's going 30% faster now. <laughs> I'll roll once more. Start of battle, gain 45, resist 3. And then it'll upgrade to another one of these. The battle rage. Oh, yeah. Yep. Pretending to. That can also go with the, this as well. Huh? Dragon. Okay. Vampiric armor. Mm, no, I'll leave that alone. I think. Let's just go. Wow. Lots happening. I've had a late heal. Ooh. That's scary. Okay, I have to win one more. Two Dragon Scale armor. So when Battle Rage kicks in, I gain 40 armor. Now 80 armor. 
reduce damage taken by an additional 15, an additional 15. Plus it goes for 8 seconds longer now, twice as long. More. I'm uh, not unhappy about that. <laughs> How can I? There may not be a way. I want to try and squeeze this armor in. Things are pretty tight. I better for both. Leave that for now. Grab that anyway. Opponent regenerates health. Consume this and inflict three poison and one poison to yourself. Meh. Every five seconds, we're going to gain 14 shield or two stamina or two luck. Triggers 10% faster for each item. Every five seconds, randomly gain 14 armor. Right? What's that? Four, five, six stars. Six stars. One, two, three. Four. Oh, I can't go there. I can it? I'll buy it. Where am I going to put it, though? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I can get that there. Probably as good as I'm going to get it. Then. I'm just gonna... You go there. Fine. So every five seconds. Randomly gain 14 shield or 2 stamina or 2 luck. Brings 10% faster, so 70% faster. Okay. If I was really. No, that's not. Never mind. Uh, roll once. Start the battle gain 7. Why the hell not? This could be the last battle. Okay, Vampiric Armor. We can see what that does at least. Convert 30 health into 60 shield. Okay. Moon shield. Look at that armor level. Holy moly. Let's speed this up. That is ridiculous. Not going down. <laughs> what are they doing? Every 12 they gain, gain one magic. Okay. Okay. Start of battle gain 80 shield. Health drops below 50% gain shield to 30% of your equal missing health. This increases that by 30%. I just don't see where all the extra shield was coming from. Like during the battle. Anyway, <laughs> it's what it is. I won anyway. That is the last battle. Oh, I thought I had to win. But I'm at four tries left. Rank up to silver with the berserker, which is good. So battles will start getting more challenging, no doubt. Beautiful. Alright, I might leave it there. Uh, thank you for watching. Once again, this is Paintly Saintly, and this is Backpack Battles. They, uh, as you saw, a pretty interesting auto battler with lots of different builds and variations and items and things to play with. So uh, check that one out if you're interested. I'll have the link in the description. If you like this and want to see more, consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. It keeps you up to date when new videos drop. And uh, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.